Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can manage your KYC process using Dynamics 365. So as you can see, we've got an account record here. This is a Datum Corporation. And we've got a breakdown of all of the most important information regarding a Datum uh, on this individual record. So who the organization is, the financials that we have open uh, related to a Datum, of course, the timeline, which gives us a breakdown of all of the communications we've had with a Datum, whether it be the emails or the phone calls or the appointments, and of course, any other information that you could potentially need to be capturing on an account record can be implemented as Dynamics is such a customizable platform. The key really uh, is up here on these tabs, you can see we have a KYC tab. Now, what this does is give us visibility of there being any active KYC, but also a history of all of the completed KYC responses that you've had. So within an individual KYC re record, if I open that up here, you can see you have the ability to track any information regarding a individual KYC response within this record. So, of course, if you're capturing those responses outside of Dynamics, you can uh, implement a little link here so that anyone who's accessing this KYC record can go straight to uh, that individual uh, response outside of Dynamics uh, and give it a, a reference number, of course. Whether the uh, KYC was passed, passed with conditions or failed and who the KYC was checked by. And what's really important uh, is here within the history of the KYC and of course the validity of that. So this KYC is valid from the 24th of July and it's valid for 12 months, which of course gives us currently an active KYC, which is why we have that yes and a nice green circle there next to the account. Of course, within this history, you can see that if this uh, metric was not meeting the parameters of your KYC check. So for example, if it was not uh, valid currently because it was out of date or if it was failed, you have a very easy way of viewing all of that key information. Now, if, for example, this KYC was failed or was not currently active and there were no other KYC responses that you had from a Dayton corporation that met those parameters, what you'd have here, unfortunately, uh, is a big no and a red circle to make it nice and obvious that there's no active KYC currently. But what can we do to avoid that? So if we go back into the KYC record, as you can see, we have set an expiry warning of 30 days, which means one month before this KYC is to expire, we can get in contact with a Datum Corporation and make sure they complete a new KYC ready for us to continue an active KYC status on their account. OK, nice and easy to manage and gives you a real visible look at the current KYC status, any information that needs to be captured on top of the KYC that you've got within the account record. But of course, the most important thing, making sure we're always on top of the KYC status of this organization. If you have any questions when it comes to managing KYC within Dynamics 365 or just general Dynamics queries at all, please do let us know and we'd be more than happy to help.